It's just really saddening that most politicians quickly forget their promises as soon as they get elected. Although it is understandable that most political aspirants are fond of making a lot of promises so that they can be seen as the saviors of the citizens. But it still doesn't change the fact that regardless of how many promises a political aspirant made during his electoral campaign, his success would still be judged by the promises he had kept before the expiration of his government. And here is the story of the Trudeau government, which came into power after nine years of the chicken shit Stephen Harper administration. The emergence of the Trudeau government was widely welcomed as a breath of fresh air by most Canadians, but little did Canadians know that it would mark the beginning of an era that would plunge the whole of Canada into the most troubling and miserable economic condition and fiscal ineptitude that has ever been recorded in more than three decades. We have very important issues to discuss today in this video, but before jumping right into today's dose of the Trudeau Liberals bullshit, Welcome to Front Page News, a channel dedicated to bringing you the latest news updates without the abundant and ill-concealed hypocrisy of the left-wing and legacy media. To support our channel and its content, please watch, share, and like this video and our other videos. We'd also love to hear from our viewers, so ensure you drop all your comments and observations in the comment section below. During the Liberal Party election campaign in 2015, Justin Trudeau had made nothing less than 353 promises to Canadians of which economic buoyancy and informed management of Canada's resources were repeatedly mentioned. I think one of the things that Canadians expect uh, is uh, a level of fiscal responsibility uh, from Liberals that... Apparently, the Trudeau Liberal government had pledged to boost the economy, but it only appears to have represented what can be tagged as a dismal leadership and a failed administration to the majority of Canadians. And perhaps the most unforgettable among the pains that Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's administration has inflicted on the people of Canada is the way the Liberals have done nothing to crack down on the lingering food hunger and food insecurity plaguing Canadians at the moment. With how inflation has continued to rise in Canada and housing costs are becoming shockingly overpriced, new data from Food Banks Canada reveals that 23% of Canadians have reported that they are eating less than they should do to severe financial setbacks and a lack of resources available for food. At least, one in every five Canadians out there is feeling the painful pangs of hunger due to rising inflation. This has led to a significant increase in the influx of Canadians visiting food banks for the first time in many years, excluding the pandemic period. This summer will be the toughest Canada's food banks have ever experienced in our 41-year history, explains Food Banks Canada's newly appointed CEO Kirsten Beardsley. The majority of food banks in every region of Canada are already stretched to their limits, with demand expected to remain high throughout the summer months as more and more Canadians struggle to cope with rising inflation, says Beardsley. Adding that food banks are also reporting that they are seeing former food bank clients forced to return after five or more years of not having to rely on food banks to get by. Things have become really worrisome and challenging for the people of Canada at this time, all thanks to the Trudeau Liberals and the most apparent evidence of inflation impacting severe hunger and food insecurity across most cities in Canada is that the reason most Canadians said they are turning to the food banks for food is change. In the past, people mostly turned to food banks during times of job loss or due to lower wages, but as it stands now, more Canadians are running out of money for food because of rising housing, gas, energy, and food costs, and have no other choice but to run to the food banks to avoid starving to death. And the numbers will only continue to rise as more and more Canadians are trapped in the continuous struggle to be able to afford food for themselves and their families. Canada is a country that has so much potential, but unfortunately, the Trudeau Liberal government's fiscal ineptitude only continues to bury the potential while making life unbearable under its administration. If the Liberals still intend to prove to Canadians that they are still worth anything at all and that, on a large scale, its tenure hasn't been anything but a failed and oppressive government, that it urgently needs to find new longer-term solutions to fight hunger and food insecurity and save the people of Canada. That's it for today, guys. Please share your opinion on possible solutions to the issue of severe hunger and food scarcity in the comments section below. And keep in mind that we are always determined to boldly expose the hypocrisy of the left-wing and mainstream media while keeping you updated and conscious. Also, make sure to leave a like for this video, share it with as many people as possible, and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for our next upload. Thanks for watching.